Uniting our community on 105 FM. Callan FM. Right, what is this I'm going to see, I hear you ask? What's the buzz? Tell me what's happening. 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 What's the buzz? Right, the uh, the brand new musical Junkyard is uh, currently running at Theatre Cluid, a uh, collaboration between Rose Theatre Kingston, Headlong, Bristol Old Vic and Theatre Cluid companies. Uh, this play is a musical set in Bristol at the back end of the 1970s and this true-to-life tale of an inspirational teacher who takes a group of youngsters from an inner-city school and inspires and helps them to build a playground out of old junk. As I say, it's a musical, but Mary Poppins, it certainly is not. Written by playwright Jack Thorne, uh, who is the uh, writer of Harry Potter and the Cursed Child that is currently running in the West End, and uh, Oscar-winning composer Stephen Warbeck. Uh, This story is gritty, rowdy, straight up, no messing, and about as offensive as you can be when tackling a story of this nature. It's described as a musical for people who don't like musicals. And the Junkyard opened to rave reviews at the Bristol Old Vic Theatre uh, before popping up to Theatre Cluid and uh, kicking off earlier this week. Now, I went up there on Thursday night and caught the uh, the press night, the opening night, and, uh, and I caught a word with actress Lisa Palfrey. Yeah, we've had cracking reviews. We've done three weeks in Bristol. Yeah. Um, obviously, it's set in Bristol. Um... But coming here, you know, we see plays from all over the world. So it's just a universal story and the audiences have been lovely yeah. and warm and they just get it. So, yeah, it's, it's really lovely to be here. As a musical, I don't think I've seen anything like it. I mean, it's an original piece, but in more ways than one, isn't it? I mean, I, have you ever worked with anything quite as... Well, do you know what? I've never done a musical in my life before. Really? So it's, it's a first for me. Um, so I was very excited about singing. Because, yeah. you know, I like singing, but yeah. I'm, I'm certainly not a singer. Um, so, you know, it's, it's, it's how the people think. So you're chatting away and then the, a song comes out. You yeah. know, it's sort of your inner thoughts and... It's, um, I think we had one review that said it sticks two fingers up to the West End musical because it's just yeah. so different from, you know, bursting into song and everything. Yeah. It just sort of comes out as, um, as naturally as sort of breathing, really. Is there, is there sort of plans to take it down to London or do anything else with it? Well, we go to Kingston after this right. um, for a couple of weeks. Um, and after that, who knows? You know, there's a lot of buzz around it, a lot of talk. Um, it would be great if it had a further life. I think it needs, I think it deserves a, a bigger audience to see it, you know. I yeah. think it's um, so unique and um, funny and, and heartbreaking. <laughs> um, and who, who represents kids like that, you know, on, yeah. on, in theatre? And when we were in Bristol, we had the kids from the site the actual junkyards to come and see it, the actual kids, the, the grown-ups who were kids during that time, who'd never never set foot in a theatre before, you know? Right. And they absolutely loved it. They forgot they were in a theatre, they were watching YouTube videos and taking selfies, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> um, they loved it, they absolutely loved it. Um, so anything that can bring a new audience in, and especially yeah. an audience like that, has got to be worth it, you know? But I mean, just talking about the kids, we've got adults playing kids, we've seen it over the years, Blue Mammoth Hills, Blood Brothers of course. Is it, do you think that's the best way of going about that, opposed to getting... Well, I think just logistically with 13-year-old children, just with chaperones, and I think they're far more expensive to hire than adults, actually, yeah. uh, with, with all the gubbins that come with them. You know, so logistically it would have been a nightmare, obviously. Yeah. And people just accept it, you know. Yeah. If you, if you um, don't act childishly and act as a child, yeah. but, you know, yeah. with, with, with their own world and personality, and people just buy into it, so, yeah. Yeah. And they're all very, very young. You know, they're children to me, anyway. Right. They all call me mum, so that's... <laughs> 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 well, I mean, I was just reading a bit in the programme as well about the, um, let's say, the, the, the Dockers. Uh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's, it's, it's quite, it's a nice juxtaposition that kids do swear like adults do. 
So when you absolutely, you know, I mean, when I was thirteen years old, I had a potty mouth. I don't know yeah, about you. This one's shocking. Well, there you go. <laughs> you know, and and working class kids, any class kids, can swear. It, yeah. it's, it feels good in the mouth, doesn't it? You know, yeah. you're experimenting with it, and yeah, it's um, it's how you express yourself. Yeah. You know, there, there's certain ways of talking now um, that weren't in 1979. So, you know, sort of sayings, the lang- language has evolved, but. Um, yeah, people just buy into it if it's for a reason, you yeah. know, it's not, that's how those kids would speak. Yeah, you know, exactly. So, uh, but it's an absolutely awesome piece, it really is. Oh, I don't, I've never seen anything like it. Oh, that's great. It's absolutely yeah. felt fantastic. Yeah. And I'm so pleased oh, to have seen you. it. Thank you, well, it's a joy to do it, and um, yeah, we're loving it, yeah. we're really loving it. And uh, good luck with the rest of your time here, and uh, on your tour. Thank you very much Lovely indeed. to meet thank you. you. So there you go, that is Lisa Palfrey, who uh, she plays the mum, she does, in this brand new, seriously not-to-be-missed piece of theatre, Junkyard. Running up at Theatre Cluid until the 15th of April. Tickets are just £25, uh, down to £10, uh, I think, depending on when you go, to be honest with you. But you can phone the box office, get more information. The number is 01352 701 That's 01352 one go and see Junkyard it is honestly it's a bell set but I've got to tell you and I've it's a warning that I've never had to give before there's a bit of swearing in it a little bit of swearing <laughs> And they're also up at Theatre Cluid uh, coming up in this brand new uh, summer season that they've got going on. Uh, they've got The Importance of Being Earnest. Uh, Oscar Wilde's play is a comedy classic with big characters, some of the wittiest one-liners and some of the most withering put-downs all in the shape of Lady Bracknell. If you love Downton Abbey and particularly Maggie Smith, then you'll love this show. And, uh, and it says, in the wrong hands, uh, this show can feel slow moving. It's like a slow-moving classic, but uh, Theatre Cluid has, uh, has employed an amazing director, uh, Rich, Richard Fitch, uh, who uh, who wants to uh, to feel wants the play to feel pacey and fresh while maintaining big sets, big costumes, and even bigger laughs. Can't wait. And, and also next week, uh, Scarlet uh, opens up at Theatre Cluid. So that is in the uh, the studio, the Emily and Williams. Uh, Colette Kane has a reputation as one of the finest new writers in the UK. And this play is about a 40-something woman moving to Wales to find a new home. The title role is played by Kate Ashfield, who, uh, who you may have seen in the cult film Shaun of the Dead, alongside Simon Pegg and Nick Frost. I have seen her. I have. The show's a co-production with the Hampstead Theatre Company and uh, we're going to go see that on Tuesday night, can't wait. And uh, one other thing, uh, My Country, uh, a work in progress and uh, it's given you three reasons to go and see this, right? Number one, it's by the National Theatre of Great Britain and directed by Rufus Norris, who is their artistic director. Reason two, now you're excited. Reason two, it features Christian Patterson and uh, regular viewers uh, up at Theatre Cluid will might remember uh, Christian Patterson uh, from Insignificance from last autumn. I definitely went to see him. I got a lovely interview with uh, with Christian. He played Senator McCarthy. He's a fantastic actor, Welsh lad. And reason number three, it's about Brexit. So it's already opened. Uh, it's opened. Uh, where do I, it, it was. It was on somewhere before, and I can't put my finger on where it was. But what we have got are some of the audience reactions. And uh, come on, we'll have a little listen, see what they had to say. It wasn't what I expected. So for it to be that funny was a bit of a shock to me. It was absolutely brilliant. I thoroughly enjoyed it. I had a bit of trepidation going in, being like, "Oh, here we go, Brexit play." Just blew me away. It was a lot funnier than I thought it was going to be. I didn't expect there to be so much of a celebration of what people have in common rather than what's different about all different regions and different countries, so I really enjoyed that. It was a lot funnier and a lot sweeter and a lot sadder than I expected it to be. Yeah, I think you did a pretty good job of, of, like, of covering many voices. Just the detail on yeah. those hundreds of voices yeah, yeah, yeah. was exceptional. I think poignant's probably the word. Funny. Powerful. Remarkable. British. Pretty amazing. So there you go. How how can you possibly miss it? That's called My Country, A Work in Progress. So there you go. That is 
four. That's just four things that you can put in your diary to go and see up at Theatre Cluid. Uh, running up until the 15th of April is going to be this brilliant new musical. I can't tell, I can't tell you enough to go and see it. It's called Junkyard. It's a belter. Then you've got the importance of being earnest, Scarlet next week, and then My Country, a work in progress. Tamara Harvey still doing it proper up at Theatre Cluid, taking it by the scruff of the neck and uh, kicking it into the new millennium properly. So there you go. Support your theatre, ladies and gentlemen. It won't be there forever if you don't.